This problem asks you to find the angle between the velocity and acceleration vectors at time t equals zero. You have a function right here. To find the velocity vector, you just find the derivative of the original function. So r prime t derivative of 3t plus 1 is 3i plus derivative of this. With square roots, you could write square root of 3 to be 3 to the 1 half power and bring this down, you get 1 half 3 to the negative 1 half t j okay for j component now for t squared k derivative of that is 2tk okay next to find the acceleration you find the second derivative of the original function so it will be 0i plus 1 half times negative one half you get negative one fourth times three negative one half minus one is negative three halves plus derivative of two tk is two all right, now let's simplify this. Let's plug zero and for t for both of our vectors. So for the velocity vector, you would get 3i plus zero times anything is zero. So this would be zero and this would be zero. Now for this acceleration vector, you have 0i plus 0j plus 2k. So, you are left with 2k. Alright, now, to find the angle, you recall from last chapter that the cosine theta equals the velocity, the dot product of the velocities over the magnitude. The products of their magnitude so you are left with now this vector is basically 0j plus 0k this vector is basically 0i plus 0j plus 2k when you do the dot product of these 3 times 0 is 0 0 times 0 is 0 0 times 2 is 0 you have 0 in the front and if there is a zero in a numerator of a fraction, the fraction is going to equal to zero. So cosine theta equals to zero. However, you want to find the angle. So to find theta, you need to do arc cosine. So theta equals inverse cosine of zero, which gives you pi over two. And this is the angle.